Okay, this is making a video for a 2004 Nissan Pathfinder oil cooler uh, O-ring gasket, or just mainly O-ring change. Um, my Pathfinder has been leaking oil for probably a couple of years now, very slowly. It seems to be getting a little bit worse with time, and so I don't know if you can see along here. There's a lot of oil build up along there, and then it kind of trails down this way. But if you look up higher, there's not a lot of drainage on that side, but you get over here, and you can you can see right up in there. That's about where the oil leak starts. It's right on that circular thing. Well, that's the oil cooler, but on that circular shape part. And so, um, at this point, it's going to be a matter of uh, getting that. Hopefully, you'll be able to get that off to change the oil cooler gaskets. Um, this side, yeah, it'll probably be easy to get to it from this side, maybe. We'll get, I'll uh, attack it here and see what it works best. Let me show you what I did. Okay, here we are again. So, it's hard to get a good light up in there. So, uh, the oil cooler. So on the oil cooler, there's a bolt sticking out there off to the left hand, so the end of a bolt. And it's a 17 millimeter bolt um, that you just turn uh, counterclockwise. I just use a just a, a 17 millimeter uh, ratchet, uh, closed end ratchet, uh, just from Harbor Freight for super cheap. It was enough to get it loose up in there, so. Pull the bolt out, bolt out, there's no ring on the end of the bolt, and there should be another O-ring um, further inside, and I'll get another shot here. Back at it, so I put a drain pan underneath this um, in order to catch the oil that was coming out. Not very much oil came out, I changed my oil last week and didn't want to drain it all completely, so I just... About 50 milliliters came out at the most, about what your would come out as if you were changing your uh, filter. And then this is the bolt here. Uh, that orange is the uh, uh, ring that needs to be replaced. Um, there's two rings, that one. And then if you see, if you can get a good look up in here, there's an orange, there's another orange ring right there. And that's on the inside, and that will need to be changed out. Tons, plus there's tons of gunk around there. Um, on there are two hoses coming into it. Uh, that one right there that you can see, see right where my finger's trying to point right there. And then there's another one on the back side. But that's actually where the coolant comes in uh, and circulates through there help cool it. Um, I don't think you, the, if you look up the repair manual it says to unhook those, but I think you'll be fine just getting to them, leaving them intact. Save you a lot of time. So I'm going to try digging these gaskets out and we'll go from there. So as I was cleaning uh, the, the cooler up in there, the, the gasket actually just kind of fell out, so pretty easy to do. I'll work on this one. Um, I've got to change my trouble light out, but uh, I figured while I was getting out of the pit that I'd show you um, the uh, These came from Nissan specifically the part numbers for the bigger and then the smaller little o-ring um, Part numbers are on there as well. This is the 21334 30 F00 is the small one as mentioned there, glare, and then this is the bigger one. I do want to show you is the uh, um, this is a diagram that you can get off the internet or you can download the service manual. I don't remember what website I got it off of, but this is for the 2004 Nathan Pathfinder. Um, anyway, it has an exploded diagram of how everything should fit together. That's the bolt, little o ring, cooler, and then the bigger ga the bigger o ring. There is a gasket that mounts this to the engine block. That's not leaking from there. It looks like it's a, a good seal there, so I'm not going to 
take out those screws and take that part off. I'm just doing these rings, and it gives you the, uh, you know, the torque specifications right there, 26 to 32 foot pounds. So we'll get those rings put back on and torque it down, and hopefully it takes care of the leak. Okay, took off the old ring, put the new one back on, and then I, it was very easy to get out, but if you don't have a set of these types of tools uh, from Harbor Freight, they're a dollar for four different pairs. Uh, it's the best dollar you'll ever spend. They come in handy for all sorts of stuff. All right, so I was getting ready to put these um, this new gasket back on. The new one is the the one on the left, or the black one, and you can see that it's thicker than the original red one that came on there. Uh, hopefully, that's not going to pose a problem. I don't think it will. Maybe just seal better, but the size-wise, they look spot on. So anyway, just giving you an uh, image of that. All right. All right. So I got it on. I torqued it down to 30 foot-pounds. So far, I don't see any leaks, but then again, I wasn't, it wasn't leaking fast enough for me to really see them. If that doesn't work, then I'll need to repl try, try replacing the gasket, which is uh, right, right there gasket right there so that'll be my next step if this doesn't take care of it but uh, it uh, looks like it did it's got a nice fit on there there was up near the top of this you can see it right there there's a, a silver tab right there So there's like a slot in that that you straddle the piece of metal coming from the engine side. Uh, so you want to just make sure those that uh, uh, slice of metal lines up between the notch and those two slots. But other than that, you just put it on and I was able to get a ratchet and sock it up in there after all. And uh, got it torqued down so we'll see how it goes. Now I just got to put the uh, plastic cover back on and we're done.